What's up guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. You already know what I'm going to be showing you guys how to make from the thumbnail and the previous clip. So let me run down everything that you're going to need to make this amazing cake. And as usual, I'll be listing everything in the description below as far as the ingredients and the measurements. Okay, so let me run this down for you. I'm using some Swans Down cake flour, which is already in this bowl, sifted. It already comes sifted, but I sifted it again. I got some baking spray, three sticks of unsalted butter. I got some powdered sugar, but that's gonna be for later use for our glaze. I got some granulated sugar, five eggs at room temperature. I have some Southern Comfort eggnog, which is in this cup already at room temperature, just like the eggs and the unsalted butter. I have some cinnamon, pure vanilla extract, some rum extract, some nutmeg, and a creme brulee butter vanilla extract. This stuff is actually good, guys. If you don't know about it, try getting this and using it in some of your uh, in some of your cakes. It makes the cake taste like it came straight from a bakery. And when it's paired with the vanilla extract, it does miracles. All right, so guys, that's everything that we're going to be needing. So we're going to go ahead and start with creaming our butter and sugar together. Let's get to it. All right, so I'm going to add my room temperature butter to the mixer, all three sticks. I'm gonna make sure we get all of it because we paid for it. <laughs> all right, stick number three. Now I'm just gonna let this cream together for about a minute or two. Oh, you just wanna scrape your sides down. All right, that looks good for the time being. So I got this cool thing. You just attach it to the side of your mixer to make it easier to add your dry ingredients. Okay, so now to this butter, I'm gonna slowly add in our sugar. See how cool that is? Just want to stop in between to make sure we get everything off the sides of this bowl and you want to do this for about 10 minutes until this has like a pillowy soft cloud look okay all right y'all that just about does it it's been about 10 minutes of me creaming this butter and sugar mixture now we're just going to get that off the sides of the bowl and let me just show you the look that I was telling you about. See, you want it to be this nice pillowy cloud look, okay? And it gives you that after 10 minutes. Eight to 10 minutes, 10 minutes the most. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and add in our eggs one at a time. And guys, you can use this pretty much for anything that you are adding to your mixing bowl. And I'm gonna put my affiliate uh, link down below for Amazon because this is on there just in case you're interested and you want to pick one of these up and trust me It makes everything easier when you're adding things to your stand mixing bowl All right, so I'm going to turn this back on low and we're going to add in our eggs one at a time Ah that's okay, that last one went in, that was fine. Okay guys, so as you've seen, the last two eggs went in at the same time, that's totally fine, just as long as you don't add all five at one time. All right guys, that's good for now. So what I'm going to do to our eggnog is I'm going to add our extracts to it just to make everything easier. 
and to make sure that everything is well incorporated, okay? So first I'm gonna go in with adding our vanilla extract to it. Now I'm gonna go in with our creme brulee extract. Wow guys, this smells so good. This is also on my affiliate link down below that I will be dropping. If you have a hard time finding this, this smells just like a bakery cake. Oh my God, like I love this stuff. Okay, so now I'm just gonna mix this with the little whisk that I have. Make sure that everything is mixed in. So now we're gonna alternate between the flour and the eggnog. You wanna start off with flour and end with flour, okay? And in between, you're gonna scrape down your bowl. So I'm gonna start off low because I don't want to have a whole flour cloud going on here. Okay guys, so in the flour mix, I've already added the bacon powder, the nutmeg, the cinnamon, and the salt. I sifted all of those together, okay? In between, you just wanna scrape down the sides so you don't get, so you don't have too much flour around. You want that to get all mixed in. You want a perfectly baked cake. Guys, this smells so good, oh my God. Okay guys, so that's good enough. Now when it comes to this, you wanna just mix it until you don't see any more of the flour. And if you have a little bit on the sides, that's fine. Or if you have a little in the middle, that's also fine. You just wanna whisk that with a whisk the rest of the way because you don't wanna over mix it with the stand mix and add too much air to it because it will be dense and the cake won't be as fluffy and moist. So this is done. So at this point, you wanna make sure that your oven is preheated to 325 degrees and we're gonna bake this for about an hour and 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, depending on your oven, okay? So let's get this into our two pan so we can pop it in the oven, okay? So let's get sprayed up. Okay, this looks good to me. Now we're gonna add in our batter. Let me just show you the thickness of it. You see that? This is what it's supposed to look like. All right, so let's get this batter into this pan. Just want to give it a little shake to help level it out. And I'm going to use a spatula again. Now you just want to give it a tap to get any excess air bubbles out. Sorry for the noise, but it's necessary. And shake it to level it out again. All right, so now I'm going to put this in the oven, as I mentioned earlier, at 325 degrees for about an hour and 15 minutes to 20 minutes. And I'll be back when this cake is done. All right guys, so our cake is done. I already did the toothpick test and it is done. I'm gonna let this cool for about 20 minutes to 25 minutes before we make that glaze. All right, so we're back with our cooled cake. Isn't that beautiful? Let me get a hold of this. Put that on top evenly. Whoa, haha, <laughs> yes, beautiful release. And that is beautiful. Nice and golden brown, amazing. So now we're gonna make our glaze for this cake while it sits here looking pretty as ever. <laughs> so guys, I just thought to myself, before we make this glaze, I just gotta give you guys a close up of this beautiful cake. Check her out, beautiful. All right, let's make the glaze for real now. Okay, so here I have some powdered sugar, vanilla extract, creme brulee extract, and we have some rum extract. We're gonna use very little of that because it's strong. Then I have the eggnog, which we are gonna use to loosen it up around here. You just wanna start out with a little at a time. Now I'm gonna go in with my vanilla. Now some rum extract. Now the creme bouquet. Now let's give it a mix. All right, so off camera, I went ahead and put a little parchment paper around just to catch some of this uh, 
glaze if it runs over so it'll be an easier cleanup for me all right so let's get started with adding our glaze we're just going to go in a back and forth motion And of course, you know that this is going to spread, so don't worry about that. Guys, feel free to do any kind of design you want, but I just want this to all fall over. Okay. Now I'm just going to help smooth it out a little bit. Get it all over that cake. Look how beautiful that looks, the way it's falling in the middle. Oh man, you guys got to try this recipe. It smells amazing and I'm sure it's gonna taste amazing. Yeah, and I made a mess, I see it, it's all right. Guys, so what we're doing is basically just pushing it down the sides so that it can fall right over. I don't want a thick coating of this. See the way that it's coming out on the sides? That is beautiful. All right, y'all, so our eggnog pound cake is completed and ready to be cut. That is a beautiful cake. I don't like a lot of glaze on mine, not too thick. This is just right, just to coat the outside and kind of seep into the middle. This is perfect. All right, so let's cut us a slice. Wow, that is beautiful. Look at the middle of that cake. Cooked perfectly. Nice and moist. I can just tell by the way it looks. All right, y'all, just to give y'all a little close-up. This cake is moist. Look at that. Falls right apart. So without further ado, let's give it a try. See how it's all breaking up? <laughs> Oh, where my man is. First bite goes to you. Now to me. Mmm. That cake was cooked perfectly. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Guys, I definitely recommend making this recipe. Not just because I made it, but because it's good. And Christmas is coming up. Definitely want to share this recipe. This is a perfect holiday recipe right here. Wow. So guys, if you haven't already, make sure that you like this video. Comment, subscribe, share the video. And with all of that being said, guys, it's a wrap. I'll see you in the next video.